We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, I feel so weird holding this camera right now. It's kind of weird even like seeing myself in this camera right now. Oh my God, this like has dust on it, y'all. I had to get her out the... I'm gonna do a day in the life, but I'm going to literally have my camera all day. So um, we have a few things to do today and I'm gonna take you guys with me on really how things are now, honestly. Today, I actually have a few errands um, to do today. So I'm gonna make myself some brekkie. I've been obsessed just with like bread and butter. My diet post baby has been very basic. I'm not gonna be doing too, too much because they're trying to snap back, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna have a little bit of English muffin and some Kerrygold. And what else do we have on the docket? I definitely need some coffee. Okay, we can work with this. I'm feeding baby right now. And that's another thing. You cannot start running errands. You cannot leave this house unless that baby is fed. Which might sound obvious to some, but... It doesn't matter how much you're in a rush. Take time to feed that baby because you're gonna regret it later. But today, actually, I usually don't even take my baby out, to be honest. Um, I would say I've probably taken him out two or three times since I've had him. A few times to the doctor. Ooh, bless you, bubba. So yeah, I need to go to the nail supply for work and then drop it off at the salon. Um, I need to get Halloween candy, but I also want to see if I can get my baby a little Halloween costume because I couldn't find any on Amazon or like online that I really liked. So hopefully he's in the mood to do that. But for now, I'm just kind of getting him in the mood to do the most important thing, really just as one errand. Um, during the week, I'm not taking clients anymore. I am in mom mode all during the week and i do salon stuff via phone and my computer so fridays and saturdays and some sundays i'll take clients and stuff like that but yeah during the week it's just me and my baby i just like to give him all my attention but there's days like today where i'm on some deadlines and you know we gotta we just gotta work with it so i'm gonna take him on some errands which he actually really loves the car rides i noticed the last time i brought him to my mom's house my mom is like 45 minutes away and he loved it so hopefully he likes it if not we're just gonna come home that's it you know so um, i'm gonna make myself a little bit of breakfast some toast and a coffee and then we're gonna head out because he's kind of finishing up this is how I know I'm a mom because look how much black coffee I put in there in like the tiniest little cream. I used to think like some people were so crazy. Like when I would see moms like that, that would say like, oh, I just have to have my coffee to start my day. Like, girl, shut up. But now it's like, and I, I know it's like because he's still kind of in that newborn era. He's 11 weeks. So he's still getting up like every two hours to eat. So I haven't like had a full night's rest since... He's been born. <laughs> and two hours, honestly, is like a flex low key because he wasn't even doing that. But, um, yeah. So now I totally get it. I used to not be so crazy about having a little caffeine, but when you don't really sleep, and even when he is like asleep, I'm still watching him because I'm like, are you okay? Are you, you know? So, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm there yet. Caffeine's definitely needed. Um, we're gonna be out probably for two and a half hours. He's eating like a maniac. So I um, I think he's going through like a, is it like food regression or growth spur or something like that? Um, so I am about to make him some bottles before we head out. I'm not breastfeeding. I know like they might have some breastfeeding warriors on here, but look, y'all not about to bully me into something that I don't want to do, okay? Um, and there's really no deep reason behind why I don't want to. 
I just don't, don't want to. That's the best, oop, that's the best way to put it. I just didn't feel like it went with my lifestyle. Because a lot of people like ask, they're like, are you okay? Or like, I know I had supply and everything and like I know it's like best for the baby, but I just didn't want to. It was making me hella depressed and it just, I wanted to get back to my life as soon as possible. So I just wasn't really into all that. So this is the formula that he is loving. That was our biggest struggle and that's why we're kind of just getting a little bit of sleep here and there because he just was not liking any of the food that we picked out. And yeah, so I am going to, and I just bought some bigger bottles because I have these four ounce ones. Girl, I think he, I, I got eight ounce ones. That, that's how much he's eating. So I'm going to make two of these for our little outing. Hey, Bubba. Let me get up. <laughs> and just like that, we're all packed. Baby is napping and the baby bag is packed for our little outing. But how cute is this diaper bag? My, hus my hubby got it for me for, um, I don't know, like I randomly, like when we got back home from the hospital, he had this and I have some matching Fendi slides to go with it, I guess. And then he, for Christmas, well this past Christmas, it's about to be Christmas again, but this past Christmas he actually got me a Fendi like tote bag. So it's actually really, really cute. Like, you know, if I were to wear it all together, but today is just the diaper bag. But I got his two bottles packed. I got his two outfits just in case we have any accidents. <laughs> Diapers, wipes, burp cloths, just a little bit of everything, hand sanitizer. All right, so I think we're good. I'm not saying I have it all together. I just like to say this like out loud for myself. Put him in the car. I know like motherhood is set in and stuff like that, but sometimes I just cannot believe that I have a car seat. It's the weirdest thing. Like it's the weirdest life change that like every day I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I can't, I can't believe I'm a mom. Like I, I can't believe it. It's the craziest thing. And then watching him grow every day. Oh wait. It's like blurring. Watching him grow every day has also been literally insane. Like, been insane. Like, his color changes, his eyes change. Like, it's just every day. I'm just so thankful that, you know, I've taken this time off, like, during the week and stuff to really be with him and watch him grow and help him. Like, it's just, I don't know, it gives me chills. Like, but literally every day I wake up and like, I check my husband like, I cannot believe this is our life. Like, I cannot believe it. So, and today is just one of those days too where I'm just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm like running errands right now for my job, like with my son. And like, it just feels so like crazy and weird, but um, he's gonna grow up. He's gonna know mommy is a worker. So, you know, this is our first little work outing together. Um, our neighborhood has so many kids, so I definitely want to get a lot of Halloween candy for them. I hope I can find him a cute little Halloween costume. Ugh, I really want him to be a pumpkin, but all I get a lot of comments about, like, how, like, pregnancy was and stuff like that, and, like, a lot of people were asking, like, why I went MIA and all this other stuff. Honestly, like, for me, pregnancy was very humbling like I obviously have never been that big before in my life and this is all like superficial stuff like none of this has anything to do with like health or you know things like that my health was perfectly fine my baby's health was perfectly fine and I'm so blessed and fortunate for that but you know I was huge, I was pretty big, you know, I was like 200 and some pounds, so, you know, I didn't quite love it, and I didn't want to vlog, I didn't want to take pictures, I didn't really want to, you know, and it's not like, 
I was doing anything to prevent it, to be honest. Like, I deserved every pound I got. Y'all, you know, y'all saw me at the Taco Bell and, you know, all that fast food and all that stuff. So, it's, it's definitely granted, but I just didn't feel comfortable, like, being on social media. And, like, you know, I wouldn't say uh, being inconsistent was a thing. I think it was just me, like, I'm the one that's, like, editing and looking at this and, you know, I'm already going through, like, my body changes, so it was just really hard to look at. So, I don't know if that sounds shallow, but even, like, after, like, post-baby, I, like, post-baby, I still, I still felt the same way. Like, I, and then at first I was like, you know, I get comments, like, hey, why aren't you posting on YouTube or, you know, why this or why not? Honestly, like, I just kind of got to the point where I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not in a rush to do anything, and people who, like, really support me and love me, like, are, like, going to be patient. Um, and I told myself, like, you know, pull up that camera when you feel confident and you, like, love yourself. Like, I said, at the end of the day, like, yeah, I'm real, and yeah, like, I'm going to post my vlogs and, like, you know, not really edit them that much. Just kind of, you know, like post like my my vlogs like I'm, I'm gonna do that but at the same time it's like I'm gonna do that when I feel like I'm at a good place in my mind like mentally and also like <clears throat> aside from like the looks and stuff like that like integrating my baby in my my life like I have a busy being pregnant is one thing but actually having someone to look after every day is another thing and like granted like yeah my husband is like uber helpful like he is overly helpful it's annoying but <laughs> other than having like my husband it's still like it takes a village like it's way more than just having a baby it's a lifestyle change so so many things are just coming into play and like with me and my husband like we both have our own businesses we're both entrepreneurs so it's like we're putting in like you know triple the time of like a, a, a person that has like a regular job and not saying like that's a flex or anything like that that's just like the decision that we chose um so and that's just a reality like you know like I think like two after two hours after I had my son I was like already, already responding to like emails and talking to my staff and dealing with like things like that and stuff like that so it's like you don't get to choose when to pick up the phone for work like you have to do it every day because it is your business and if you essentially if you don't do it then you don't make any income so you know it's like a big lifestyle change integrating a human that wants love and attention and you know that's a big lifestyle change so I really wanted to come back with you guys or to you guys when I can art articulate like how I'm feeling and like I'm not super scatterbrained not saying like I'm perfect and I got it all the way there because I absolutely don't but I definitely wanted to come to you guys a little bit more put together than I was so I will say at 11 weeks postpartum I do feel a little bit better I feel better about myself I feel better about like a little bit more confident about how I'm integrating my new life and like where you guys fit in with all that too so you know thank you for being patient I appreciate it a million and I'm super excited to be back I'm super excited to talk to you guys and you know update you guys on where I've been and things like that so that's it my sister makes it so easy <laughs> getting the baby out she holds the whole like carrier but he still sleeps so I don't want to take him out so I'm just like this and I parked right in front Looking for a true brown. All right, so we got everything here. 
And I got this stuff last week. I just need to make sure. We have made it to Target. I'll try to get the groceries and this Halloween costume. I must say, I don't know how people do this. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know how much I can get. Maybe that's a good thing. This little guy, oh, I'm trying not to show his face too much, but this little guy is a uh, surprisingly sense kicking and screaming. Because we're at home. <gasps> I'm tired. They didn't have anything. This Target run was a bust. I almost started just buying anything because I was like, I can't believe I'm leaving with nothing. But I got some stuff to make dinner. And, um, but no costume. They do have a costume place next door, but I'm like, it's been pushing it to go to another store. I don't know. Which thing, Bubba? Hmm, nothing. Some PJs, maybe. But I did get some Halloween candy. This looks cute. I actually have this, I think. Yeah, I think I have this. Hmm, should I get a Stanley? No. This is a cute color. Hmm. Is this the same size? No, it's a bigger size right there. Y'all, that's how dead it is in here. I'm freaking about to get a Stanley. Hmm. Wait, where the heck? Get some more coffee. And I don't have to lift it. I, it was on the bottom part, oh, okay. so I had to turn it over. Oh, this is so cute! Baba, what do we want to be? Alright, it is lunchtime. Oh my god, the line for Chick fil A always amazes me. And here I am in that line. You okay, Baba? Okay. Alright. Mom is gonna pull over, we're gonna eat together. And then we're gonna go home. Don't you worry, Buki. <sighs> but I do my sandwich. They have a really good spicy chicken sandwich. One of the girls had ordered a uh, Chick-fil-A for everyone. And it was delish. I promise he's smiling, he just likes to grunt. That's like his new thing. Hello. Hey, name for the order. Amanda. What can I get started for you? Can I get a spicy uh, chicken sandwich? Okay. Do you guys have that as a meal? Yes. Okay. Can I have that with uh, fries? Okay. And then can I also get a side uh, kale salad? Okay. With a lemonade. All right. And uh, that'll be all. Any sauce or condiments for you today? Yeah, I'll do the the Chick Fil A sauce and barbecue sauce. All right. And did you want a couple when you order with a cookie? We take the profits from that and donate it towards Children's Hospital. Uh, sure. Alrighty. It's gonna be sixteen eighty-one. Do you uh, take cash? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we are in the Chick Fil A parking lot. I just feel bad eating. He's not eating, and it was time to feed him anyway. So I'm gonna I'm feeding him. Spicy chicken sandwich. Oop. He likes to jump too. Woo! Hot. Oh my goodness. Chick fil A is fresh, honey. My number one favorite thing is napping with him. Oh my god, the cuddles. <laughs> We're watching this show because one of my girlfriends, she had a like Sex in the City theme party and I was like, ooh, I don't, I know the show is iconic, but I haven't watched it. But it's literally so good. 
so good. He's getting so big. He's almost, well, you know, he's 14 pounds. He was six pounds, 12 ounces when he came out. And he was so cute, but he was a tiny, tiny, tiny little guy. And now he's huge. I'm on this, the part of Sex in the City where Carrie is like the big mistress and it's so gross. This is like the worst part. I mean, they've they've had so many like parts of their love story, but this is the worst. Mistress, boo. Charlotte couldn't sleep at all that night. Yuck. So embarrassed, I don't even want to mention it, but I feel like I have to because it's sitting on my counter. So I'm checking out at Target with the baby. Um, obviously, I'm not like overwhelmed, but he does get up and I did, like get hella nervous. So when I was in the Halloween aisle, I picked this up. Oop, I picked this up. And it didn't have a price on it or anything like that. I just saw that it had 120 full size packs. Really quick, type in the comments how much you think this is. And literally my face was red was red when I checked this out because, and it was a self checkout, so I couldn't delete it and put it back. And they had a long ass line behind me. So I got it, but guess how much this was. All right, drum roll, drum roll please. This box of candy, candy that I was so embarrassed to put back because I'm just an idiot was $119. $119. Yep. <sighs> I'd rather just eat it all myself. And there's only Snickers, Skittles, and Twix. Target has to do better. They didn't have any pricing or buy it. I just got a box of candy because I'm like, okay, well, I don't have to get a bunch of bags. So then, obviously, it wasn't gonna be enough for this, my neighborhood, and the salon. So I went to the grocery and got more candy for the salon for literally probably 40 bucks. But why is candy so expensive? Like, what is, Very embarrassed, very through with myself. So I got this, and then I also got, they had um, this Halloween one of popcorn. So yeah, total waste, total bust. And it was so funny, cause like at Target, I was like, oh, there's literally, I'm gonna find my, I'm gonna find a way to spend money somehow, some way, clearly. But I'm so disappointed in myself. I should have put it back. I can't believe I spent that much and i know it's full size even the lady that um like checked the the receipt on my way out she was like a hundred some dollars for a box of candy i was like yeah by the time i realized it was too late to put it back and the line was too long so well, that's crazy that he's gonna be baby boo so this is what i got there yeah, it looks like a little sack, but they didn't have much. And I don't know, it just seemed like simple and easy. So he's gonna be that, I'm gonna put him in that tomorrow. We may walk around the neighborhood or something. I don't know, just something. And I don't know. So yeah, that was my little outing today. Spent way more than what I thought. So I'm just waiting on my little hubby to come home. Usually he comes home around four or five ish to kind of i'm gonna um and around that time is kind of when i do really work stuff um i try not to do work stuff during the day because i always end up messing up something because i'm not like really thinking about it so usually like emails and stuff like that i try to just get that done like either first thing in the morning like if he is like taking a nap or literally when my husband gets home because when I was trying to do everything all at once, it was just like me messing up schedules and 
just a hot mess. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting on him to get home because we kind of have like our little routine. And that kind of just jump starts the evening, basically. He just plays with the sun and then he has them also on the weekends. And it just works. I thrive at night, so I don't mind like getting up every two hours or hour or so with him. But my husband, he sleeps like a rock. I would say I'm a light sleeper. So we're just waiting on him to get home. Who invented the slings? But girl, it was really in their bag when they came up with this. I actually got sent this from Porter. I think that's what it's called. Australia. And it's so good. I think he likes a wild bird one the most, but I like wearing this one because it doesn't make me like, like when he gets fussy and I can tell like he wants to take a nap, but doesn't want to take a nap. Babies are weird like that. I like to put him in this because he like calms down. He's in one little spot and and he just relaxes. So I love these a lot. We were gonna go on a walk, our little evening walk. Shh, Papa, shh, shh. But he's a little too fussy. So, gotta make sure both of his legs are nice and good and comfy. Yeah, he's fussy, but he's about to go, he's about to, go to sleep. But yeah, just like that. All right, we have the candy. Actually, there's way more candy in there than I thought. They packed that box up pretty thick, but I don't know if it's $120 worth of candy. I don't know if candy's ever worth that much, but yeah, she's all stacked and ready for the trick or treats hers. The house is clean. And Bubba is taking a nap. He loves this thing. Oh my gosh, literally this is me. The end of the day, all the time. Milk dried up everywhere. But this is my like decompress moment. I decided honestly, I don't really feel like cooking so I told my husband we're doing takeout so so I, I uber eat I'm not really in the mood to cook tonight so Z yes it is um I'm running my bubble bath because my back lately has been like not so well I picked up my makeup bag and I, I don't think I bent my legs or something because this wasn't like this until last weekend when I was at work and I was picking up my makeup bag and I was in a rush and I literally felt something pop. So honestly, I wanna soak and relax. I've been doing this like every night, like bubble bath. Normally I take a shower, but this weekend is actually a really special weekend. I'm tempted to vlog, but I kinda probably just wanna be in the moment, if anything, I don't know. Um, me and my husband are going on our first date since the baby, which it'll be 12 weeks. Since we honestly longer than that, we haven't went on a date in a long time, in a really, really long time. Which I'm not complaining. We have a freaking newborn, but he actually made these reservations a while ago. I want to say like two months ago, or maybe a month ago. No, a month ago. He made these reservations because we recently got a Nobu in New Orleans, so um, he made reservations for Saturday. And I'm off on Saturday, which is perfect because my sister's baby shower is Saturday morning. So I took off um, because hers is like, it's like at 1130 and I just felt like, you know, so I took off like forever ago because she'd been sent out the invitation. So I was already off. So I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Like, you know, so I won't be like rushing home from work to get ready. All that to say, I overnighted some stuff on Monday. So this is one of the outfits. Hopefully she's cute. I haven't like worn anything super like sexy in a while. Oops. 
And I'm not ready to wear a skin tight dress at the moment, but I am ready to, you know, I am ready to dress up. I will say that. So I got this kind of draped two piece. This is my outfit. The other one is like a draped high slit long dress as well. Just stuff I know I'll be comfortable in. We were gonna go to like a concert. They have the Louisiana Fest on Saturday, which I normally always go because I'm obsessed with Little Wayne. He's my favorite rapper. So we have plans to go to that, but eh, I don't know. So, oh, this is, okay, so this is a bodysuit. Cute. J-Lux just comes through every time. Let me show y'all what, um, oh, this color is cute. It's like an olive color. Oh, I think this might be cute. I'm gonna try it on after I take a shower, of course. Um, I used to order from them all the time. And they randomly, like, popped up on my timeline on Monday. And I'm like, I remember you girls. So, this is, let me turn the brightness down. So, this is what it looks like. It's a, I guess it's a bodysuit. I thought it was a, a blouse. And then it's like a maxi skirt. And my hair is dirty, so I'm thinking of wearing a bun this weekend uh, for my sister's thing anyways. So yeah, I, I saw this picture and I'm like, ooh, that is cute. And, and that's something I would wear. So I got this for date night. And if this doesn't like look good in my opinion on me, um, I have another safe option. It's a burgundy. It literally looks just like this with the dress version, but it's a little bit looser in like the mid area. So either options, I can't wait. The other one that hasn't come in yet, but I think I did see like, it's probably gonna be here tomorrow if anything. So I have that. Let me see how long this skirt is. I actually overnight a bunch of stuff on Monday because my sister's baby shower, I thought it's, well, it's a sprinkle because this is her second baby. I thought it was going to be something um, chill. So I had like this jean two piece that I've been dying to wear. It's actually really, really cute. Well, denim two piece. Um, but I sent it to my other sister, and, and Morgan was like, um, it's supposed to be like Sunday's best, like frilly dresses, hats, and gloves. So I was like, oh shit, like that's not the vibe. So I overnighted another dress on Monday as well. And I think that's supposed to get here tomorrow. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, good. Because I'm 5'8", and I don't like stuff. Like, sometimes middies aren't middies. Like, I like it to hit the angle girl. This is cute. Yeah. This candle is, like, the best, I feel like, room candle and, like, bathroom candle because it's not too, too much. And same as this body wash. I use this body wash every night. I think this is my fifth bottle of this. And I also have this spray. Like this smell. I call this like my, my house smell because it's very light and it's very fresh. But it's the Santal and I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's so good. So, so, so good. You guys, I am genuinely shocked on how good this looks. Now, mind you, I don't have any underwear or bra on or shapewear. And even before pregnancy, I always had shapewear because I just like how smooth everything looks. Look how good that, y'all, wait. Wait, not even posing. This is why I love J Lux because literally, and I think like maybe, obviously like not even on my tippy toes, or anything like even if like there was like a, like a major pooch or anything like that it would have been covered to be honest like I mean there's still you know a little bit if we're nitpicking you know we're girls but this looks so good like I'm just imagining this like with my hair up and like heels and stuff like this just feels really nice to me like it feels good and i feel super in there like when i took it out the packaging like i didn't know if i like loved it but the way it's like draping is so good like so so good 
And the color is really pretty too. I like this a lot. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's like the lining or something. I probably have to pull it down some, but yeah, besides this like weird line thing right here, I think this looks really good. And it looks really, really expensive. I think I, I don't, I don't even think I paid much for this to be honest. Come through J Lux. And they have this in different colors too. All right, post baby. My skincare has really been pretty simple. I'm using this growth, growth factor serum from Zo Skin. And it's so cooling. Cause you know your girl gets barely in a sleep. But I just got a FaceTime with my sister and I showed her my little outfit and she loved it. I can't believe this is the first time me and my husband are going somewhere. It feels so weird. Even like asking my mom to watch my son, like it feels so weird. This is actually like my first time leaving my son like and me not being in the house. Uh, the first time was for my salon's photo shoot. We did some like headshots in the beginning of the month that I planned like before I went on maternity leave. And um, she watched him for a few hours and I was like freaking out the entire time. I was like, oh my God, like this feels so weird, like not being in his vicinity. So this is our second time with him being at home with, you know, not us and stuff like that. And my mom's like obviously gonna sleep over and stuff like that. I don't think we're gonna stay out late. Honestly, I don't even think we're gonna like <laughs> finish the dinner because we're so obsessed with our son. Like that's all we talk about. So it'll be interesting to see what we're going to talk about post baby and like, you know, so I'm curious to see like how we're gonna be. This is so weird, I'm getting to the end of this. This is my favorite nighttime. I'm trying to give my skin extra, extra, extra love because I put a lot of makeup on on the weekends and I wear it for a long time. Well, not really, but because I have my sister's event on Saturday and my the little date night, Saturday night, so I just like to make sure everything's nice and moisturized. And I just feel like this stuff is just magic. When I wake up, it just has like, my skin is so plumped and fresh and it just feels like I got a million hours of sleep. So that is that. And then we got some lip balm. And then I am doing this like two, two step treatment for my, my tummy. I do have a lot of stretch marks and no, I'm not comfortable with posting that or, you know, I'm just not there yet, but um, I do have a lot of stretch marks. So I am doing Tretinoin 0.1 on my stomach um, every night. And I follow it up with, because uh, I take my address off that, but with this cream. So I am getting a laser treatment mid November on my belly area hopefully I know like I hopefully I'm not like sounding like too shallow like always please take everything I'm talking about my personal appearance with a grain of salt because I don't want this to turn into like a thing and like an obsession because I'm not obsessed but if there's ways to make myself feel better I'm going to do it every time and I'm not going to have any regrets about it and I don't want to have any regrets about talking about it with you guys but um, yeah, so I am getting some laser treatments. I don't think it'll be like be 100% gone, but according to my dermatologist, they are new stretch marks and you wanna treat them when they're still kind of pinkish. And the tretinoin just kind of um, helps with cell turnover. And then once my skin gets super, super kind of red, um, we will start the laser treatment basically. So I'm putting this on twice a day, although I have been missing it in the morning because when my son does uh, get up, the, the only thing I'm doing in the morning literally is washing my face and doing like a little bit of makeup. So yeah, that's my little nighttime routine. 
and I'm gonna go have dinner with my husband and baby. Um, I prepped the bottles for the night, so we're good with that. And oh, I do need to respond to a few more emails tonight. I did get a few. It's been so hard working with brands. Ugh, they're so picky. I forgot how picky they were. Um, I just got a video sent back. They were saying that I didn't mention all the products that they sent, but I did. So now I'm kind of confused. I'm going back and forth with them via email um, to kind of see like, what are they even talking about? Because I know I did, you know? So yeah, I have a few, I have two uh, major brand deals coming up, one local and one um, on TikTok this month. Um, and I say major as in like ones that I really, really like. So I have those two for November coming up and then uh, that's pretty much it. And I probably won't do none for the rest of the year because it is really, really hard filming a video with the baby in the back, especially if I'm doing a talking video. You know what I mean? And I want to do it like in daylight. It's kind of hard. So um, my patience is a little bit shorter when it comes to these brands. And I'm like, look, girl, take the video. I don't even care about the payment anymore. I don't even want to go back and forth for with you. So that's it. Okay, I want to show you all my little nighttime routine before... I go get baby. <laughs> um, I always start off with uh, my emails on my work computer. Then my five minute journal, which is just two seconds. It doesn't even take five minutes. It's just my affirmations. And then I kind of just write down my thoughts and my vibe for the day. And then um, that kind of leads me into my devotion. Um, so I do pick out a verse and I read on it. And I kind of use my Google, my iPhone, to kind of I'll just Google like verses for frustration or verses for motivation or you know whatever and then I kind of just read on that um, there's not really like a um, there's not an order I'm going with the Bible but I just feel like this kind of keeps me at peace um, yeah so this is my little nighttime routine um, that I do before I start my <laughs> night um my little night shift with my baby so this kind of keeps me at ease i feel like just kind of having this order and i started this about i want to say eight or nine weeks postpartum i was like i really like i was getting super low and my depression was really eating alive at me and i was like i have to do something um, that I can obviously fit in my schedule that's feasible and stuff like that. So I, I started with the five minute journal and then I was like, you know, I have more stuff to talk about. So then I was like, let me get a personal journal. And then I was like, no, I need to like connect with my God, um, just to get centered. So then I was like, okay, the Bible for sure. So now all of it just kind of goes hand in hand. And obviously like by work, catching up with work and this is just during the week um during the weekend it's literally just me and my work and my husband's super super supportive of that so uh yeah this is like my my daily kind of little he's like clockwork this baby he knows he knows that mama done finished up with her self-care he's like uh-uh come get me lady <laughs> all right let me go get him guys